Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. We have heard in the past gospel readings about the story of Nicodemus when he, he asked Jesus about the reverse or a man should be born again, which is our Lord Jesus Christ leading Nicodemus to think that Jesus is referring more on spiritual rebirth. It is not the literal of rebirth that we have to go back to our mother's wombs and to be born again. And in our gospel reading today, it was an explanation of Christ the divinity when Jesus said, the one who comes from above is above all. The one who is of the earth is earthly. It speaks of earthly things. But the one who comes from heaven is above all. Which is our Lord Jesus Christ is trying to tell that he was being sent by the Father who speak about his divinity and reminding us of that we have to choose him so that we can choose life. Our gospel reading today is more on, had a, it has a tone of being theological. Why, why did it so? Why? Because of, we see that Jesus trying to explain and define his divinity to, to people. And here we see that Jesus saying, the Father loves the Son. And has given everything over to him. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life, but whoever disobeys the Son will not see life, but the wrath of God remains upon him. Faith will only help us to understand all these things. And most especially by the power of the Holy Spirit, that we will be guided, guided all through, and that we will also be helped on to understand the very ways and will of God. If we have to connect this in our human experience, we may say that at times, there are things that we cannot fully understand. May mga bagay-bagay na hindi po natin nauunawaan. Lalong-lalo na, ang galaw ng Diyos sa buhay po natin, hindi rin po natin nauunawaan. Pero alam po natin sa pamagitan ng paggabay ng banal na Espiritu Santo, ginagabayan tayo at unti-unti nauunawaan natin ang magandang plano ng Diyos sa atin. Our gospel reading today is reminding us of our continuous invocation and seeking of God's intervention by the help and power of the Holy Spirit. We know that the Holy Spirit works in our life. We know that the Holy Spirit guides us, leads us, and most especially giving us life and hope. Amen.